Here's another team to me that's very dangerous. The Los Angeles Rams. We were right about that one. Thursday night, we hit it. Um, you know, Macon almost came exactly – it almost came exactly down to the score again for me and him. But I ended up winning because of that two-point conversion. But it was incredible. But the Rams, I watched them. Some of the touchdown drives they've had over the past, I don't know, six weeks. And really, it's since Kyron Williams has been back healthy because you know play action makes this thing go. Some of these touchdown drives, I, there's no adjective for it. You know, like, I, what word describes, like, big boy NFL touchdown drive? where there's no stop and start, there's no penalties, there's no you're backed up, the protection's good, you hit the the big chunk plays, you're running the football, like you convert. You know, Matt Stafford just looks like a pro quarterback. You know, like he just looks like what I want in a quarterback, man. And going into the playoffs right now, you could argue that he's playing better football than anybody in the NFC at that position. Yep. And they have limitations on defense. The corners scare me. But offensively, compare them to that 2018 year. They've obviously won a Super Bowl with Stafford, and the defense was better that year. But 2018, okay, we talked about them as like some historic offensive machine. And you might say, where are the raw numbers? Well, the league might have caught up with that offense a little bit. But I think more than anything, if you compare these two groups, I think this group is more functional. And by functional, I mean it's like when we talk about stats all year. You know, playing bad teams, the the sum of the you know the 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 appearances that your team has out on the field over a given season. I'm talking about the functionality of an offense in the playoffs when they're playing good teams. What they did to Baltimore, San Francisco didn't look like that. They went to Baltimore, and the way they looked, it looked like they were going to go toe to toe and beat that team. They gave a punt return for a touchdown and two drop coverages. Okay, so if you're the Rams and you compare that to 2018 season, the 54-51 Chiefs game, the whole thing, the well dried up in the playoffs when Todd Gurley got hurt, I think this group has a higher floor, and I think they're more functional. And, you know, why do I think that? Okay, you lose Todd Gurley, he's really special. And you talk about an offense that starts with play action, he's very special, right, and a different back than Kyron Williams. But they have adjusted – to a different kind of run game to set up play action. And on top of that, compare Robert Woods and Puka Nakua. Okay? Compare Matt Stafford to Jared Goff. Compare the offensive lines. You know, um, they, they're top 10 in pressure rate right now. They're right in the bottom of the top 10, a spot or two behind 2018. 2021, they were better up front, but they're really good now. So I think they're just as good as that team that went to the Super Bowl. What they do on defense, no idea. But I can tell you, some of the teams we just talked about, Philly, Detroit, a bunch of these teams, they 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 don't want to see the L.A. Rams come into town because this offense – can take them to the brink in a shootout. And they also have one of the best defensive players in the world, oh, by the way, that still plays football for them. So I actually think this is a very dangerous team. And, uh, you know, as you compare it to some other quarterbacks in, in, in the dance, I, I, I like this guy.